Welcome to this OSGUI.com screencast tutorial on why Linux is better, why Linux is better than Windows and why Linux is better than Mac. Okay, before this I've used this website, whylinuxisbetter.net. Okay, forget about viruses, right? You don't get viruses on Linux and this explains how you basically just mainly get them in Windows. Right? Linux is much more stable than Windows. So that's another reason why it's better. It actually can be left on for days and months and years without ne ever needing to restart or crashing usually. Depending. Uh, if a program crashes it's usually not the system's fault and it's just that program and you can restart just that program. Now, Linux protects your computer. It's the most stable operating system in the world. And it can't get viruses or Trojans or adware or spyware, you don't need to get, you know, you don't have to have the firewall running, you don't have to pay $300 for your operating system and you don't have to try to pirate your, your software, so you can actually legally have a free superior operating system. Linux is the only operating system, well I should say any open source operating system this is true of, but you must be using an open source operating system to have freedom, freedom of speech. Okay, if you want to know more about that, just Google Richard Stallman or the open source movement, or watch a video on YouTube about Richard Stallman. Okay, he will explain to you perfectly why proprietary software locks you in and only open source software gives you freedom. Okay, the freedom to redistribute the freedom to modify, the freedom to investigate, the freedom to be yourself and do what you want. Okay? Alright. When the system has installed, why would you need to install more stuff? The point of this one was that standard Linux operating systems come with just about everything any regular user would ever need to use right out of the box. Full office suites, full internet suites for games and suites and graphics suites of and multimedia suites of software and accessories are often included and um, but of course you can easily install extra stuff but the point is that Windows and Mac operating systems are not so complete with their inclusion of, of all types of, of productivity software. Um, forget about drivers with Linux because they're all actually already built into the operating system so 99% of things just work straight away, you plug them in and they just usually work straight out of the box plug and play as it should have always been um, and the whole situation with drivers, if you do need something um, usually the operating system will detect that and download it and configure it automatically for you otherwise um, the occasion that uh, you might have to download something newer like an ATR driver. Someone like me will have done a tutorial to make that really easy for you. Okay. If you try hard enough, you can get anything working. If you ever have any problems, I should mention. All right now, look, all your software that you do have installed gets updated through one update manager. All right, it's fantastic. No other operating system can do that. Update all your software with a single click. It's really true. It's really amazing. All right. Why um why pay for software or why when you can get it for free or why pirate software when you're breaking the law I mean you could be getting an alternative for free here is a list of really common um, proprietary software that costs a fortune right and here are the open source free equivalents and many of these are also available for Mac and Windows so you can start to transition yourself off Windows by trying out the open source equivalents to these programs first on your Windows system and then switching over to um, Linux once you, um, you know, have sort of broken your dependency on some of these proprietary programs such as Microsoft Office. Okay, but um, it is possible to run them still in Windows um, through compatibility layers and other things like that. Um, yeah, you don't need to search the web to find new software that you've never heard of before. You can actually just find new software you've never heard of before through the Linux operating systems, their package managers. They've got these AbiMove program applications where they'll give you descriptions and you've got a full list of all the best open source software that's in there. It's not always the most up-to-date stuff, but it's usually always the most stable stuff and um, common stuff and well-known well stuff and best stuff, okay? Um, 
it, it's, Linux is also a next generation desktop. It often has amazing features that you uh, don't see in any other operating system um, or you see them first in this kind of operating system as you can see like there, you know, things like wobbly windows, you know, in dual screen and making all kinds of amazing 3D effects is quite commonplace for a Linux desktop and it has been um, for longer than it has been um, in Windows. Okay, so you've been able to do that since well before you know when Windows XP was still the main operating system and there was no Vista yet. Okay. Now um, Linux does not get defragmented. It just doesn't. So read all that if you want to understand why. But even if you're manipulating files on a Windows hard drive from your Linux operating system, it doesn't fragment the files on the Linux hard drive. It's just because the operating system is better. Also the file systems are designed not to do that too. Okay, NTFS is not supposed to defrag, but it does when Windows controls it, but it doesn't when Linux does. That's what a standard is saying that um, Windows is more cu uh, Linux is more customizable. That's pretty much um, a Windows desktop, and you can't customize it much more than that. If you install third-party things that'll to customize it, you can still only change it slightly, and um, it slows down your system and makes it unstable. But with Linux, you, theming is built right in. You can you know that's what it standardly looks like, but you know you can make it look like that, or you can make it you know look like that or that. And there's all these different desktop environments to choose from, and they all have different uh, hundreds and thousands usually of themes that you can install for free to make it look like anything you can possibly imagine. And um, if you are an artist, you can create your own and share that with everybody. Um, Windows gets slower day after day because it gets fragmented and the registry gets corrupted and all these things happen to it and it doesn't happen with Linux, it usually stays fast, okay? Um, because it doesn't defrag, it doesn't have the same suffer from the same problems. Um, the environment, Linux uses less electricity, it's better for the environment, you actually will save money. Also in your electricity bill, alright? You don't have to run antivirus software so your computer's not doing as much work all the time. For example, there's no backdoors in Linux, it's completely secure, it's the most secure operating system in the world. Any Think that says otherwise was just paid for research by Microsoft. It's not true. Okay, um, there is free unlimited technical support online for people like me. Thousands and millions of people online through communities and all kinds of websites and millions of people doing you know tutorials and videos and all kinds of ways for you to learn how to use it. Okay, there's more stuff in the open source world to teach you because people are so passionate about trying to get it out there. Um, and people take it upon themselves to promote it. Um, too many Windows use workspaces is an extra feature that um, I think Windows 7 has just copied off Linux that Linux has had for about 20 years of virtual desktops where you can have lots of different desktops. Right? So, um, don't wait years to resolve bugs. You can report bugs and get them fixed within months, um, weeks, days, hours sometimes with Linux. Um, if it tried restarting all the time, you have to do that all the time with um, Windows, but you don't have to do it as much with Linux. Um, okay, so you can, and it's pretty stable. Alright, um, it's fantastic for old computers, and I'm going to do some videos to demonstrate that, but you can run it on old Pinium 3s or old Pinium 1s even, um, or 486s even, if you just get the right distribution for all that hardware. Alright, there are hundreds of games, I'm doing some videos on that. Here are some of them. These are all some of the best games that you can see that are available, and pretty much just available for Linux. Sometimes they might be on other platforms, but they're original Linux games. Okay, so there is a, a huge flop. Um, uh, list amount of, of, of gaming and, and fun stuff to do, okay? Um, help other countries and help yourself with the world um, financial crisis. Linux is the answer to solving the current the financial crisis and monopolistic companies have helped to cause the financial crisis, okay? If you don't agree, let's, you know, have an argument about it, leave a comment. Um, it's compatible with everything, including all chat clients. You can do video chat. Um, there are tutorials on that, all right? Um, it's compatible with all kinds of great, you know, music players and iPods and all that kind of stuff. There's lots of awesome music players there, so you won't miss iTunes at all, okay? And um, it's got lots of cool extra things. Um, now, it's saying maybe you should stick with Windows in some of these cases. That's what that website thinks, but I don't agree with any of that. I don't think there's any reason for anyone to stick with Windows ever, okay? So please, if you have any questions, ask me. Register on my website, osgui.com, if you want to talk to me, um, or, or leave a comment on Facebook. Thanks for watching.